Hello, Downey Unified Parents. This video is to assist you in completing your child's registration verification. To begin, open up a web page and navigate to Parent Connection at parentconnection.dusd.net. Please note, for the purpose of this video, we are using a training website. You will type in your PIN number and password for your Parent Connection account and click the Login button. In the upper right hand corner, you will click on the registration verification link to open up the registration homepage. You'll notice your name and your students' names. Click the edit next to your name first. Review your demographic information. Make any changes as needed. Add a check mark to confirm and then submit to authorize. This will take you to the income form. There are a few areas you will need to complete here as well as read the information provided to you. Enter your household last name. Enter your child's name, birth date, school, and grade level. There's a little add button under the child's name where you can add additional children. Please be sure to add all of your children with their name, birth date, and school and grade level. Once you've added all your children, you'd move on to part two, household size. Enter the number from the drop down. Under household income, you will enter your information, which includes your first name, last name, the frequency that you receive your income, and then the income amount. Again, there's an add button to add additional household members with their income as needed. There's information provided to you in this area if you have any questions on how to add or what is needed. Please note to not add any dollar signs or commas when you're entering the income amount. Scroll down to the um, ICE certify box, add a check mark, submit to save. On the active military duty full time card, answer the question, add a check mark, hit submit. This moves you on to the housing questionnaire. Respond to the different questions, add a check mark, submit to save, and you'll see verification complete now listed next to your name. Click edit next to your first child to complete the steps for that child. Under emergency contacts, if you have not previously listed, you will have to click on add emergency contact to open up the boxes. Add the emergency contact first name, last name, relationship to the child, phone number, and phone number type. All yellow boxes um, highlighted in yellow are required boxes. If you do not complete one of the required boxes, you will not be able to submit to save the information. If you do have your autofill turned on on your um, browser, you'll notice the different numbers listed that you've previously saved. We do require a minimum of three emergency contacts. Continue using the add emergency contact to add each contact. Although we require a minimum of three, you can add as many as needed. Under the last emergency contact, you'll also notice a checkbox with add checkmark to box to copy and replace emergency contacts to other students. If you have more than one child, you can add a checkmark to this box and it will automatically apply these same emergency contacts to each of your children. Once you've added all the emergency contacts that you need it, add a check mark to I authorize, and then you would click submit to save those emergency contacts. Under medical information, there are a lot of different um, health areas. There are yellow boxes are yes or no responses. Other boxes include additional information um, that can be added as needed. You will start with allergies and then scroll down to each of the other health conditions and respond with a yes or no. And then scroll down to continue completing this step of the registration.
Once the health condition area is completed, the next questions are regarding vision problems and health problems. You respond with a yes or no. And then you will complete the medical information area along with the name of insurance. Click a, the box for I confirm to confirm your responses and then click submit in the upper left hand corner to save. This takes you to the device protection plan. Please read the details of the plan. If you agree to purchase, select yes, I want to purchase, or no, if you do not want to purchase, and you would type in your name to sign, or you can also type in I decline. Add a check mark to the box for I confirm, and then click on submit to save. The take home agreement, also please read through the agreement. Once you read through, if you agree with the agreement, um, there's an area to type in your student's full legal name and the parent or guardian full legal name. If you do not agree, you may type in, I do not agree in place of your name. Add a check mark to the box for I confirm and then submit to save. The district important information allows you to view different documents and notices sent out by the district. You may click on the link to view them Once you've read through them, add the check mark to I confirm, and then click Submit to Save. Under Notification Authorizations, again, they're yes or no responses. If you've previously responded to this, you'll see they're already pre-filled for you. You may click on any underlying links to view the information provided there. You also need to add your initials, stating that you have reviewed the Parent Student Guide and that you have reviewed them with your um, child. Then add a check mark to the I have reviewed. Click Submit to save your entries. The medical billing, again, there's information provided for you regarding Medi-Cal billing program. Mark your selection to I consent or I do not consent. Type in your initials. Add a check mark to I confirm. Then click Submit to save. Technology Access Survey has two questions. Respond with yes or no. Add the check mark. Click Submit to save. Each student will then have their school provided um, notices. You should notice a verification complete once you've completed all the steps. If you have more than one child, you will have to continue the same steps for the additional children. Each of the steps needs to be completed for each child. You'll notice emergency contacts carried over from the previous entries. Once you've completed all the steps, you should see the green verification complete next to your name and each of your children. If you see the red verification incomplete, review which step was missed, click edit, complete that information, make sure to add a check mark to the I confirm, click submit to save. And once you see you and all your children show verification complete in green, you have completed your registration. Thank you.